association class is a type in which we need to make a class of the association between two classes means a salary file is permitted to employee class one salary file is permitted to to five employees here the permitted or permission is the association between two classes we if we make a different class of this association having its own qualities or a quality or a property this will be association class means here permission is another class made with the property of accessibility and we can also show the participants of the related classes as well here sagin ahmed harris alex max fan and sean have different accessibility permissions to the class the permission here remains the link or association between salary file and employee Empl- uh, salary file class and employee class but in a different way because in shown in a different way with a dotted line because now that the association also contains its properties let's take another example of association class in this example a person plays for a team person and a team are the two classes in between there is a association of place for between them if for some reason we need properties of place for as well why the player is playing for a team then we'll make this uh, association as a association class means a different class altogether and show it with a dotted line like this so now a person plays for a team and plays for is the association between the two and this place for has its own three properties of contract title and salary now we can also show the participants of each uh, each class as well like person has name and age we'll, we can show them co- place for has three properties contract title and salary team has two properties name and titles one but it will it will be shown only once as manchester and five because it is only one participating participating in it so when showing participants we also need to take care of the multiplicity as well there are five persons in a one team reflexive class is made when two classes associated with each other contain exactly same properties like is in this example prerequisite course and offered course these two classes are associated with the association of allowed means if only if prerequisite course is passed by a student then it is allowed to take offered course both classes contain same properties of course name and creditors but this can be shown in this way as well this is this is how the reflexive class is shown make only one class name it as you like and we we are naming it a course for our convenience putting both properties both combined properties together of course name and creditors then the prerequisite and offered the other two main parts of the class are written uh, right and left side of it and in between them is the association of both allowed class so so in short these two figures means exactly the same the only difference between one is shown the other example of reflexive class is a teacher one teacher examines 20 students now teacher and student contains exactly the same properties name and age this can also be shown in a reflexive class like this again both diagrams means the same only shown in a different way the figure shows the same thing a, a teacher teaches the student one is the reflexive one another is the association one now good question may arise that when should we use which type of diagram either association reflexive or the normal class diagram it all depends on the requirements of yours means if you need to show the simple association between two classes like a teacher teaches a student and they have different properties you will show simple class diagram if there is association between the classes and the properties are also the same of the two classes you will need to define it as a reflexive association then if there is a case when the association needs to have its own properties as well you will definitely need to draw association class between them so again it all depends on the requirement of yours to go about your class diagram and your choice either reflexive associative or the normal in this example we will use reflexive class and association class together in this example a person belongs to software engineering department of some university belongs to is the association between them 
this association has its own property as well now a person can be a student and a teacher if both student and teacher contains the same properties name and age a teacher examines the student and containing the same properties means it's a reflexive class a person belongs to a software engineering department now we can we can show the other properties of the class diagram as well like this diagram shows computer science computer department is the composition part of university means if there is no university there will be no existence of the computer department as well then computer science department is ha, is a super class of two subclasses software engineering department and id department we means we have generalized the super computer science department into two then in the computers in then in the software engineering department person belongs which are teacher and student